It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Denver Broncos and the New Orleans Saints on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Crescent City of New Orleans and the Caesars Superdome, the home of the Saints. And thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here as we get going with this one. Greg, you look at the matchup, the one thing jumps out. And we see it more and more in the last five, six years around the league. Rookie quarterbacks being given the keys and said, kid let me see what you got yeah there's no waiting around anymore it seems like more and more often just like you said we're seeing young rookie quarterbacks given the keys to the ship earlier and earlier and a big reason for that is these coaches realize they don't have a long time to figure that quarterback position out the longer it goes that you don't have the quarterback of the future the more likely it is that the next guy that's drafted there he's playing for a different coach so pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set. And off we go here on EA Sports. Now an opening past the 30. And they will finally track him down, but not before he takes this to the other side of midfield. The Broncos led by the rookie quarterback Bo Nix out of Oregon. The rookie, the last of the quarterbacks taken in the first round, number 12 overall. He's been around, he's 24 years old, but the rookie runs it for the Broncos. I really like this young quarterback, Mike. I think there's a lot of things that he does very well. I mean, the arm talent, it allows you to expand the playbook, his mind. He can process information both quickly and decisively. Pocket presence, impressive as well. He rarely finds himself in situations where he's a sitting duck. Now, can he put all of that together and operate an NFL offense? That's what we want to see here today. And so far, I think he's shown a lot of hope that he can grow into a future franchise quarterback. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Working out of the gun. It's Knicks. He's got his receiver. It's Cortland Sutton. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. So many of these young rookie quarterbacks, they come into difficult situations. We see it year in and year out. They don't have a lot of veteran pieces around them. Maybe their weapons aren't great, but I don't think that's the case for Bo Nix. The receiver might ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. From the shotgun, here's Nix. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver. And in trouble. Down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that axe. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush.
from back at the 13-yard line. It is second and goal. They'll throw. It's Knicks. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. led to this from the five third down and goal Mims sent in motion here next from the ground on third down and on the third down that ball incomplete just a couple plays ago Mike it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable they were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field and then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses they started getting sloppy in their execution now what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? Lux's kick is good. And the Broncos are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. So the Saints ready to go to work on offense for the first time. They'll be let out by a fifth-round selection out of the 2024 draft from South Carolina by way of Oklahoma. It's Spencer Rattler. And here we got a guy, Mike, that was a bit of a polarizing prospect going through this year's draft process. I mean, on the field, there's no mistake in it. He could flat out play. He can make all the throws. He operated that offense down in South Carolina at a really high level. The question is, there were some off the field concerns, a couple personality issues that seemed to leak out through some different media reports. With all that being said, whatever's true, whatever's not, if he can match his potential with his on-field performance, he's got a shot to be a starter in this league. A nice throw there by the rookie, and he earns his guys a first down. On the ground for the first time, this is Alvin Kamara. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Now, faking the give. This one is caught by Moreau. Was brought down, and that pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. He does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Blake Groupie comes on for the extra point. The kick is good. Saints move out to a 7-3 lead.
Another kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Marvin Mims. Across the 20, we'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. The Broncos offense ready to see the football for the second time. The trail by four, touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. The throw is Nix. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, like sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. It's the rookie fourth rounder, Troy Franklin. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. And this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. And that is incomplete. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The Saints offense ready for their second possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. They put Wilson in motion. On first down, they'll start out with Kamara. Nice job, finally the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. He'll go again here with Kermit. And they're putting down just shy of midfield, but that is enough. It's a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. They'll come up here first and ten. Look at the throw, Rattler. He'll look middle here, and there's Olave. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. And that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. Throwing is Rattler. The throw here is complete. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what. They've got some really good young pieces on this roster. First and 10 now from the 36. On the give, this is Kamara. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Throwing now is Rattler. Left side into the hands of Olave. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five.
He'll come up to third and three. To throw, it's Rattler. And that is incomplete. Chris Olave, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up fourth down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here's Mim. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. A gain of 48. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Nix. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions. And he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there. Picks up some good yardage and gets down on the ground. Second down. Nix. He's got it to the tight end. Dulcich. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. We'll go play action with Nix. We'll try to run for it. And Nix with a wise move there at the end, sliding to a stop. But he's got the first down. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield. Nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself. Picks up the first down. And then to protect himself with the slide. Well done. Throwing is Nix. And off the deflection. It is taken in. To the goal line. And in. Devon Vele. Touchdown, Broncos. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play call, just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Will Lutz now for the PAT. He gets it to go. The Broncos will tie things up. It's now 10 to 10.
level at 10 as this one's kicked off. Williams now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Piece of field position to start this drive. Now out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. They'll see if they can go out breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. now back to throw fires one side line that is complete and he's down inside the 40 yard line so a big one there to start the drive 36 yards one quarter in the books here on a Thursday night tied at 10 apiece more from New Orleans after this. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They put Wilson in motion. Here's Rattler. Pass is caught by Olave. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Out of the gun, here's a give to Kamara. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Here's a third down and four. He'll look to throw. That's caught. That's side. It's complete. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. From the four-yard line, try to punch it in. First down and goal. They'll look to throw. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line in second and goal. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. They run over center with Williams. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. to throw. defense was expecting the pass and after matching all the receivers in the end zone this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line on comes Blake Krupe for the PAT it's up and through and the Saints go up by seven it is now 17 to 10 
our kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. Here's Traymon Smith on the return. And a solid one back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Broncos offense are now ready to take over once more. Find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now. As they come up with first down and 10. Looking out of the gun, it's Nix. He's going to let this one go deep. Troy Franklin, the intended target. And that will lead to a second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. Set to go now on first and ten. Throw it. Mix. Got it into the hands of Mims. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A good spot here, second and a yard. Here's to give up the middle with Williams. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. Big snap on first and ten. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. They'll work now on second and four. Play action now. It's next. He's got it about the eight. And he's going to go into the end zone, but he may have gotten a little help along the way. This one's coming back. So holding is the call. Take that touchdown off the board. spot it's tough to completely celebrate Mike when you don't pick up the first down but that's a run you will take every single time I mean good yardage in a lot of situations it'll get you the first down just not here we'll try to run for it with Williams now after the run we get a stoppage for an injured player athletic training staff looking at him so we'll step us up. They're at the 17 yard line now for first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Nix. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. And it will fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Portland Sutton, the intended receiver. And 
and it'll be second down. Here comes Williams on the toss to the right. He's able to get away for one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. Here's Nick's to throw. He'll get that to Javante Williams. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision made. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Broncos are able to cut it to four, 17 to 13. It's always a little bit of a letdown. Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. So following the field goal, Lutz is back out to kick it away. Here's Williams on the return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Saints offense ready to get back to work. They'll start out first down and 10. here Mike you're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point in this case it falls incomplete but if they continue to get that matchup this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot it's a game of 12 then first down New Orleans this is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. Throwing is Rattler. Catch made right side by Wilson. You get about six before he's taken down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. Olave is the motion man. Upper down, they'll set up to throw. Going right, it's taken in. He's going to have that first down, gain of six, as they convert on third down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. 
a rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. That's caught over the middle, it's Wilson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. To throw, it's Rattler. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Throwing now is Rattler. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there with that third down conversion, continue to possess the ball. These opportunities to come away with points continue to go up. And we'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Give them a dozen yards on that one and give them first and goal. Looking to throw, Rattler. That's hauled in at the two. And he's in. Cedric Wilson. Touchdown, New Orleans. now for the extra point. His kick is good. The Saints add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. ready to go once more as the kicks away on the return here's Mims and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line Javante Williams heading out with the Broncos for their next drive the deficit is double digits so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten to throw. That's caught right side. It's Franklin. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Throwing is Nix. to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. 
Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Third and six. Mix from the one. On third down. Now a ball deep, middle of the field. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Saints offense and Spencer Rattler set to take over once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. From the 35, it's first and 10. The tight end Moreau is in motion. receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now, they don't have one for this guy. Groupie now, on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Saints are able to extend the lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here's Mims and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Broncos offense and Javante Williams getting set for this next possession they'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break it has not been their half to this point let's see what they do on this drive. first down now seconds to play in this first half. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Back to throw is Nix. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's a third down and four. To throw is Nix. Right back to Williams. They connect again. The Broncos going to signal for their third and final timeout. They'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half.
first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. He is completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Throw it. Mix. And that is incomplete. The most important stat Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential, your ability to protect the ball, and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. And he'll get a few yards back here on the return before being forced out of bounds. The Saints offense and their quarterback Set to take the field once more. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to them with another drive here. So first and ten now. They'll start from the 22. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. So we reach halftime in what has been to this point a one-sided game. As we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Here's first and ten. They put Wilson in motion. Crackler now back to throw. He'll get that to Wilson. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Here's second and six. Here's Rattler. This one is caught by Jerron Johnson. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. 
When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Now, on third and two, they'll try and throw for it. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one and they let him off the hook. A fair catch. He's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. The Broncos' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. seems to have worked they've come out with a new established energy you could see it when they took the field now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game but so far off to a good start oh maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it and he's going to be sacked but there is a flag up. not sure how close he was to being all sides. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Here's a handoff to Williams. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. On first down, right back to Williams. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And Mike, you know the best time to pick up first downs is? on first downs. Don't wait for third down. We see it here. Three plays in a row, three first downs on chunk plays, and this offense is rolling. Play action now. It's next. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We see this offense just continue to search for a spark. It's just this entire game, their execution's just been a little bit off. And now here in the second half, they find themselves down by multiple scores. They're going to have to connect on one or two of these big plays if they want to find themselves back in this one. As he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. Look to throw. He's got his man. He finds Sutton. A pickup there of 13. Good for a Denver first down. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. That one, take it in. Devon Valen. Touchdown, Denver. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. Oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. 
And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. So now after the touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. On the return, it's Williams. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. So Chris Olave and the rest of the Saints offense getting ready for their next possession. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Olave is the motion man. Throwing is Rattler. Catch made right side by Wilson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Come to the line now on second and two. Now Rattler going to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. They try and run for this with Kamara. This will be a Saints first down. The tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. To throw, it's Rattler. That'll be caught, it's Alvin Kamara. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Throwing now is Rattler. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. They'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. All right, here with Camaro. 
Good running there. He's got the first down inside the 30. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. On first down, they'll stay with Kamara on the ground. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. So as we take a look at the box score, Mike, you realize here they got the lead. We're in the second half, but they don't have a lot of rush yards. It's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead. Now, how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game. Can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out? And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. That defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are unwilling. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. third down. They'll set up to throw. He's got it inside the five. And he will score again. Chris Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. His big night continues. His third touchdown of the game. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. On comes Blake Krupe for the PAT. He's got it. The Saints will extend this third quarter lead. teams ready to go once more as the kicks away on the return here's Mims and this will wind up working out well he's going to take it up to the 40 yard line good return the visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession and as you take a look at the numbers you have to imagine he was the top few conversation in that locker room at halftime. They've got to find a way to slow him down. Nothing they've done has worked so far. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. Now a loose football. And this is taken in by the defense. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And we talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is gonna need a little closer look. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose. 
And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner goes down, and that will not be a fumble. They'll come up now for second down and four. On the option, here's Williams. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. The number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he is very close to the first down. But an uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. He came up a little bit short there on third down. But I think the reality is, Mike, they've been in four down territory for a while now. You find yourself down multiple scores. You cannot afford to waste any of these possessions. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. Look at the throw. Rattler gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They put Wilson in motion. Now they'll set up to throw. That's out to the flat, and it's complete. And he's going to be run out after a gain of about six, but that'll be good enough for a first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. Here's second and three to go. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. Taken down inside the opponent's 35. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. set up to throw that is knocked away incomplete good coverage there defensively all over him and it'll be second down you just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern nfl mike i mean not only are these wide receivers better than ever but the way the rules are written you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options your technique has to be perfect your timing has to be perfect exactly what we saw here and he makes a great play on the ball this pitch and catch may have looked routine but i promise you mike these types of anticipatory throws especially outside the numbers they don't occur without countless reps oftentimes when nobody's even watching third and a yard so 
So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll have more Thursday Night Football after this. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page. And now brings up fourth down. He'll go for it. It's Williams. Mm. And he is going to have the Saints first down. They get it easily. It was fourth and one, and the pickup was five. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. So, here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. In the red zone now, he'll drop to throw. And the Saints are going to be looking at a first and goal. They move it down to the four. Big time completion right there. And... This isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So, really nice job here late. Let me see if they can put this one out of reach. This has been some kind of march downfield now, and they paid off with six. It's first and goal. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Chris Olave. of the game that is one behind the single game NFL record groupie now for the extra point he knocks it through and the Saints will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Mims. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Broncos offense ready to take over once again. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. We'll start this drive with first down. The throw is Nix. A lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore all over that. Gets a hand in there to knock it away. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Throwing is Nix. Finds his tight end, Gosich. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. 
You know, it's really been a one-sided game, but how often do we see in the fourth quarter the team that finds themselves down by a lot, they start to come alive. I think it's a combination of trying to end the game on a positive note, but also sometimes that defense getting a little lackadaisical. They go sideline, and he stays inbounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 13 yards on that one. Moves the sticks. It's a first down. First and 10 now from the 36. They'll throw. It's Knicks. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Now, a second down throw for Knicks. He connects with Mims. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. need much it is third and inches a give and here comes Williams 13 yards the gain down to the 13 yard line anytime you're having a really good drive like this Mike you just hate to see it stall out on the fringe of the red area but in this case not only do they pick up some good yardage on the ground they get a fresh set of downs to hopefully go in and finish this drive with a touchdown Nick snap on first and ten. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. This one complete to Sutton. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. They'll run. It's Williams. And he will... Power his way into the end zone. Javante Williams. Touchdown, Broncos. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least it'll pay off with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. Here's Lutz now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Broncos are able to edge a bit closer. Touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. Here comes Hill on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll start this one on the ground with Kamara. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. The 
they're going to go right back to Kamara. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Olave is the motion man. Crackler now back to throw. That one caught by Wilson. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. He'll go again here with Kamara. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Here's Rattler. Complete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold them to a short return. The visitors' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. to throw is Nix. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. That's one of those plays where you come off the field, Mike, and you're getting a lot of high fives. Hey, good job. But then that secondary's coach pulls you over to the side and says, hey, nice play. The next time, let's come away with the pick. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Working out of the gun. It's Nix. Quick throw. Taken in. And get about six before he's taken down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. They'll throw here on third and short. He gets this complete to Dulcich. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. A first down throw for Nix. Here's a screen set up to Williams. Ah, uh, they smelled the screen and took care of it. Blown up in the backfield. Well, the best screen plays, of course, you want the offensive lineman out in front of the running back. They act as his escort, his lead blockers. But what you can't afford is for the defenders to be in the backfield and get to the running back. Because those offensive linemen, they can't help him at all. He'll take a shot with Mims. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. 
there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. That is not the way down the field. Incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up. Like you can see, he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. And he cannot get the throw off. He's going to be sacked. And they will turn it over on down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense They're up to the task and they come through yet again with a huge stop. The Saints offense and Chris Olave getting ready for their next possession. They start with the lead and the football. They do so with tremendous field position. It's first and ten. Give running right with Kamara. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Second down and eight. Camara and good hard running will get him down close to a first down might be a yard short two minutes remain in the fourth quarter Greg and I back on EA Sports after this here's third down and a few inches Give up the middle with Camara. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal coming up. They find a way to convert on third and one. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. They'll run here with Camara. He's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. Now, here's second and goal. They'll try to run it with Williams. Trying to find a crease in there to big pile of bodies but he is going to come up short they keep it on the ground twice mike and they have no success so now if you're the play caller that starts creeping into your head do you have confidence in a third attempt or now do you try to change it up and go play action and put the ball in the air so this one a win for the saints this was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point in the end. A few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that is the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Saints are winners, as we say so long from New Orleans.